process. Thank you. Senator Karunga. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. My question to Mr. Abdi. You receive a letter from the Health Ministry on 11th May, 2023. Then in your wisdom, you replied 16 months later, when the CS has even left the office. My question, and that is five months after the national, after the Senate looks into the issue and comes to the report, comes with a report. Are you part of the conspiracy? Don't answer me, answer your children. Senator, Senator Sigay. Honorable Speaker, the question I intended to ask has already been asked by my colleague, uh, Senator Mogatana, so I do not need to waste the time. Senator, Senator Kibwana. And uh, honorable senators, you know, when you're given an opportunity to seek clarification or ask a question, it is not a moment to get a TikTok clip. <laughs> Please, this is a very serious matter. Proceed. Let us not embarrass this house. Proceed, Senator Hamida. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I... To uh, Mr. Abdi, I just wanted a clarification whether ESCC, when, when uh, ESCC conducts their investigation, um, are they guided by other investigations? Because uh, through the cross-examination, um, I think it was vis-a-vis -vis the parliament, uh, I mean parliament uh, investigation. So I think these are two different investigations. So I was just, what I wanted that clarification whether you are guided by uh, parliament, because the parliament are not experts. That's why we always uh, bring in or loop in EACC uh, to assist us with the investigation. Um, number two, would you, call a, um, would you call it a bribe if a gift is not declared, you know, or gift or gifts in a public office? Would you call it a bribe? Uh, just the last one uh, to the council. Um, how do you cross-examine uh, what someone came and said, but not exactly um, specific findings of the Senate, because I found it a bit contradicting. Because um, the resolutions of the Senate is based on committee's observation and um, recommendations, but not investigations. Thank you. Senator Kathuri. Uh, thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, uh, uh, mine is not to the council or to the witness, but uh, to the remarks which has been uh, given out here by Senator Karungo Dango. Mr. Speaker, I, I don't know whether you heard what he said, and I do not associate myself as a senator, Honorable Senator, with those remarks to a witness appearing before the Senate that please don't answer me, answer your children. Mr. Speaker, that should be expunged from the records of the Senate and from the answer, and Honorable Speaker. Order, Honorable Senators, Senator Karungo, that is unparliamentary and totally out of order. Proceed to retract that statement, failure to which the Chair will rule. Mr. Speaker, as I withdraw, this session is viewed by everybody. At home, our children too, Mr. Senator Speaker. Senator Karungo, I never give an opportunity to make a speech. Retract or you allow me to make a ruling. Okay, Mr. Mark. Speaker, I retract. Take your seat. I withdraw and Take please answer me. Take your seat, Senator Karungo. 
please. Senator Karoche Tabitha. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir, for giving me this opportunity. And uh, as a mother, I think I've, I've also felt I'm hurt within Senator Karongo. But because it has been ruled, thank you. We should never, ever. I know we closed, we, we had a meeting, closed our meeting before we started this. And we all agreed we are going Senator to behave. Thank you, Tabitha, thank you, thank you. Proceed to so, mine is to the Abdi. My question is to the Abdi. Uh, on uh, whatever you are trying to do on the procurement irregularities. But my question is, uh, are you doing to the others, because there compl a lot of complaints on the procurement departments in all the ministries. So I hope this continues to everywhere. Thank you. Senator Richard Onyonka. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I wanted to ask Mr. Abdi this question. In your observation, maybe in just a paragraph, what do you interpret happened about this tender from its inception in terms of the procurement, in terms of the management of the, the exercise and the conclusion as an officer whose responsibility is actually to investigate if there was any breakage of the law and if necessary, make recommendations to the DPP. What conclusion did you reach when you are analyzing this matter? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Karen Yamu. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Dr. Mulwa, before this house, implicated the Deputy President in um, a scandal of the 3.7 billion Kemsar deal. In your own investigation, can you corroborate what Dr. Mulwa has claimed before this house? Thank you. Senator Tom Ojenda. Uh, thank you, Speaker. Speaker, my, my question uh, is different. I want to ask the previous, um, the advocate who spoke or presented the Kenya Kwanzaa Agreement, uh, my learned friend, to clarify a few issues. Mr. Yes, Council, can you clarify from the agreement, the Kenya Kwanzaa Agreement, whether there are any shares for the following counties? Please note this. This is important. Kisumu County, Siaya County, Migori County, Homa Bay County, Kitui County, Mombasa County, Vihiga County, Mandera County, Marsabit County, Transoia, West Pokot, Lamu, and Nairobi County. I, I just want to know whether, and this is important, 